Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at the latest 1.11 update in detail and breaking down all of the new items uncovered in a recent data mine, as well as some bonus items that were not revealed in the initial announcement. It's an exciting one, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Now the latest New Horizons update that's been referred to as either the late July update or the August update or even the summer update is now available and has been distributed worldwide. Once installed this will of course bring you up to version 1.11. If for some reason you're struggling to update just make sure you have a Nintendo account linked to your Switch profile, power off your Switch by holding down the power button until the power off option appears and then restart. If you're connected to the internet you should be good and we'll see version 1.11 at the top of your Animal Crossing screen. Anyway, this is of course the long awaited update to New Horizons and the first batch of new content since April and just a few days ago Nintendo announced what will be included, including a refreshed fireworks event for August and a bunch of seasonal celebrations and items for August and September, so around 2 months worth of content. Now thanks to the latest data mine we now know this update includes even more content and actually appears to include refreshed content for Halloween in October as well as some currently unannounced seasonal celebrations and exclusive items presumably for October and November. We'll go over what this means towards the end of the video but right now let's take a look at the items uncovered. So of course from this point forward we're going to be discussing currently unreleased items in detail so maybe a bit spoilery for some players so please just bear that in mind. But if you're good, here are the 37 New Horizons items added in the 1.1 update. 12 Handheld Food Items now, as already revealed in the New Horizons announcement, some new handheld items have been added to New Horizons for the refreshed fireworks shows throughout the month of August. These include five types of boba tea, including coffee, green tea, mango tea, milk tea, and strawberry tea, as well as four cotton candy flavors, including plain, melon, ramune soda, and strawberry. And finally, three types of frozen treats or popsicles, including chocolate, orange, and ramune soda, totaling 12 new handheld food items all of which can actually be consumed like fruit to give you extra strength, which is really cool. These 12 items can be obtained through Jolly Red's lottery and I believe are won by winning raffle tickets 13 through to 24, so each flavour is won individually. 13 Seasonal Exclusives now again Nintendo revealed just days ago the lineup of the content we can expect from version 1.11 on their website, which initially only confirms 5 seasonal celebrations and items, however thanks to the data mine, 6 additional items have also been uncovered, bringing the total up to 12 new seasonal exclusives that can be obtained. These include the moon cakes, the dango, the cucumber horse, the eggplant cow and the song pyong, which we know about from Nintendo's announcement, but also includes the marigold decoration, the Chito Se Ame and the handheld lantern which is available in 6 variations including stars, moons, glass, suns, geese and leaves. We know for sure the first 5 items have been added for seasonal celebrations for August and September but it appears the remaining items are reserved for even more seasonal celebrations most likely in October and November including St Martin's Day amongst others with one of these seasonal items availability ending on November 20th. 12 Halloween Items now to everyone's surprise and despite Nintendo not including anything past September in the August update announcement it seems several Halloween items have also been added to New Horizons in version 1.11. These include the spooky treat basket, the spooky trick lamp and finally the spooky tree all of which are available in orange, yellow, green and monochrome totaling 12 unique Halloween items. Thanks to Animal Crossing World we know these items will be sold at the seasonal spot within Nook's Cranny during the Halloween season, however recipes for these items have also been uncovered. Now these items have likely been added as part of the refreshed Halloween event for 2021, much like how the Bunny Day event had new limited time items available at Nook's the second time around. So there we have it, that's 37 new items, half of which we had no idea would be included and Nintendo didn't even include in their announcement, so now it means version 1.11 includes 3-4 to four months worth of content rather than the 2 months we first thought. There is a good chance Nintendo will still address this new content in the future though and could mean we'll see another update announcement similar to this one around October for the rest of these items, but they might not now, seems by then everyone will already know about them. With that said, these items appear to take a 
us right up to Turkey Day at the end of November, so we can expect the next announcement just before then at the latest. But I guess that depends whether or not they have anything else planned before, or will be refreshing the Halloween event even further and things like that. Anyway, what do you think about these new items? Are you excited for the new food items? And will you be saving the Halloween items until October? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, I'd like to thank all of the hard work from the data miners for going through the files and finding everything and sharing it with the community and also Animal Crossing World for going out of their way to get these screenshots for everyone to see. I'll leave links to everything below. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. Of course, I'd like to thank all of the Patreon and channel members for supporting this content and helping me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. As always, if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to leave a like and comment spooky just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include why you think Nintendo chose not to mention October and November content in this update. I'd love to know. Anyway, until next time, have an amazing day, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.